Hi, Charlie here from Red Anvil again. I'm here with this new chestnut mare that another customer of mine has bought, uh, a new polar pony for him. The feet aren't in the best of conditions. They're nailed eight and eight, which is a bit different. Normally you can get the job done with six. They're really dry. Um, I presume they're just overdue because the hoof pass and asses isn't that bad. Um, but they're not exactly how I would have put them together. She's cute though. You can see that big crack right in the toe. Nailed four and four. You can see how that hoof capsule is not straight at all. Nailed four and four. That's his mate. So we're a little bit short on the heels with these shoes. They're a little bit heavy for polo. Some of you guys might be able to tell me what maker shoes they are. I don't use them. It's not a lot of wear on the toe. We can come right down here. You can see not much wear on the toe there. Not a bad job. I've seen a lot worse from people that have bought polo ponies. It's just that that heel's a little bit, a little bit short there. Look. So I've just had a quick trim of this foot um, and put the heels back to where I think they should be. So before the heel, buttress probably ended around here. Now with trimming that foot to where it should be, you can see these heels right back almost the widest part of the fog. I may take a little bit more off that yet. You can see how the toe is flared through here and here. That laminal stretching there and the toes not in good nick either, but you can see there's been a big crack here as well. So yeah, I'm gonna dress it forward now and uh, hopefully make it look a bit better. So I've dressed this foot forward and you can see that there's evidence of some white line disease in here. That crack, I've not excavated it much at all yet. But you see up through here, the camera angle right, this crumbly material here that's your white line disease and that needs completely removing okay. this guy's definitely going to end up in a quart clip shoe because there's no toe clip he might even end up in a bar shoe yet depends how deep this white line disease goes but i know he's been bought to play polo as well so that does limit some of the shoe choices sometimes so i'm just taking away the excess horn around the outside to get to expose the infected horn to the air and remove any infected horn which as you can see right down into the bottom I'm trying to take out as little hoof wall as possible but also get all the infection at the same time The, uh, the, the trick when digging out this is not to go too deep and get to, get to blood because that's one thing as farriers we don't want to see unless it's our own. Um, vets quite like it, I don't, I don't like going that far. Um, but I've got pretty much down to the bottom of this infection now. There's only the odd little bit. Um, and with just exposure to the oxygen, I'm going to give it a clean with some iodine just to make myself feel better and then um, probably give it a week or so and then maybe fill it with the with J May. We'll see how we go. This is the foot with that big resection in it. Um, it's a little bit narrower. So straighten those branches out. I'm not gonna send the clips on quite as much. Check his level. Mark it's the outside. Donk, as they say. Oh, look at that.
I don't know where the last guy managed to get eight nails. That's plenty, man. Okay, so I've got this quarter clip shoe on this pony. Yeah. Heel buttresses is a much better length. That's a nice bit of cover there for the inside. Don't want to give him too much, he's playing. See the bell shape? There's still more to come off this, but it is the first time I've done that foot. And I don't want to go making him lame now, do I? <laughs> <laughs> 